Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be exploring um, the new VCAM software from XSplit. Uh, now, VCAM is a piece of software that allows you to remove backgrounds and replace backgrounds or blur backgrounds uh, with any webcam without the need for green screens and without the need for any expensive lighting setups. So that's what we've done here in terms of the setup. Um, all there is like me now is just a standard light bulb in the roof as you can see it does look a bit dark and um, we'll see how it fares and um, so there's no other lighting around me whatsoever um, recording it using um expert broadcaster as well so um we'll be able to see how it is really easy to use with that piece of software which is excellent um, and we're going to explore the menus and just to see how easy it is but more importantly is it any good at removing backgrounds um, and how does it compare to a green screen? So uh, without further ado, um, we'll have a look at the interface. Okay, so the interface itself, as you can see up on screen here, um, is really streamlined, really straightforward. Um, before you start to use this software, I would recommend that you run the calibration, which doesn't take very long. Um, and that is just in here. As you can see the option there, just run the calibrate, it takes a minute or so, um, and that is designed to get the best um, image quality possible. Um, in this little drop down box here, I mean, I've only got one camera attached, but if for any, some reason you had a couple, um, that's where you could select your camera. So you can see um, it's just defaulting for my camera. Um, the next is where you're gonna choose what filter you want so you can keep the original background which you can see uh, behind me now to some white walls you can replace the background with a file from your PC um, or you can remove the background completely um, you can tweak things a little bit in here you now with hardware acceleration and whatnot um, I've just leaving um, everything's automatic and you can even remove a chair option and then finally, we've got this option here where you can blur the background as well. So we might as well start with that as it's uh, just straight there in front of us. So as you can see at the moment, there's no blur. As we move the slider up, we get more and more blur. And it's just me with the misty background. Um, you can see a bit of ghosting when you move my head. It really shows off my grey hairs even more, sadly. Um, but as you'll see, if you get that, blur level right that starts to disappear so there's still an element probably more to do with the frame rate capture of the camera rather than the software uh, i'm still pretty well defined there albeit ugly um, and the background is blurred so what we can also do is we can replace the background with an image that we want so it's just remembered the last uh, image i used which is uh, roblox if you can't see move my head um, once again, you can still change the sharpness of the image or whatnot. But as you can see, when I move, uh, you do get that element of blurring still. So it's not quite perfect, but bear in mind, absolutely no extra lighting whatsoever, no green screen. This is all the software doing it. So I think it does a pretty good job, um, especially compared to the cost of going out buying yeah buying the whole green screen which you could probably do on the cheap or the faff of setting it up when you need it if you haven't got space to have it set up permanently um the advantages of this just being software based could far outweigh that and um, what you can also do is you can remove the background so at the moment as you can see it's just got the checkerboard effects if you're behind me but uh, in a second we'll and put it through broadcaster with a game running as well so this allows your viewers to see a lot more uh, of your game and less of your background so we'll go ahead and we'll start up a game um, and run it through xsplit broadcaster along with the vcam so you can see what the results are like okay so here we are in total war three kingdoms um hopefully if i've got this little right uh, which i think i have because i'm only running this on one monitor um, you should be able to see my face in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, you can um, see the game actually behind my head. If I move around a bit, you still do get some blurring. Um, but it's, I, although that's not brilliant, I don't think it's a, so much of an issue that yeah, we may, it doesn't, certainly doesn't make the software unusable. I think with VCAM, the advantages far outweigh 
the sort of minor inconvenience of that little bit of blurring effect. Um, you should also bear in mind that VCAM is uh, quite a new piece of software, so um, it's only going to get better with time the more feedback they get from the users. Um, and as things progress, it's going to get much, much sharper. So already, I think it does a really good job. Uh, things are only going to get better. So if you're looking to start your streaming career um, and you want a sort of a budget-friendly, easy-to-use setup, uh, I would say VCam is the way to go for you. I um, hope you like what you've watched today. Uh, we are going to do some more X Split videos as well. We're going to look at the Broadcaster, we're going to look at Gamescaster, and we're also going to be checking out their new um, Express Easy Video Editor, which has just been released. Um, it's important to remember as well, to be fair, with all these um, X Split products, uh, that they are all available for free. Um, although the functionality can be limited. So for example in the VCAM, if uh, you want the free option, you can still uh, remove backgrounds, you can still blur them, you can still replace them, uh, but you will have a watermark. So here we're using one with a premium license. Um, so you can see, all right, or more importantly, you can't see any watermarks or anything behind us. Um, so hopefully you like what you've seen. Hopefully you'll check out the other X Split videos as we get them uploaded. Um, if you want to see more from us, um, please uh, like the video, subscribe. If you've got any recommendations for background removal um, software, that would also be brilliant and maybe we could explore reviewing those. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.